Hi, this is Rochelle with Journal Life's Journey. And today I am going to be working on some envelopes for my fall journals. I have three journals that I've been working on for a while. And I also have this napkin that I'm going to use. And I'm using envelopes from the Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to be using Collage Podge for the first time instead of Mod Podge or my own little solution that I normally use with uh, white glue and a little bit of water. So I'm going to see how the Collage Podge goes for the first time. And I'm also using a makeup spatula, a silicone spatula from Dollar Tree. Um, and I did find them on Amazon, so I will link to them in the description box below. So I'm just using the spatula to spread the collage page on the front of the envelope first. Then I'm just gonna take a piece of the napkin, the part that I want to show, and place it on the front of the envelope. So I just laid the napkin down carefully. Um, and these napkins seem to be pretty tough. I didn't show the part where I took the uh, backing off of the napkin, uh, but apparently the Dollar Tree napkins are two ply. And so there was only one piece of napkin to remove from the back of this. But still, the napkins are pretty sturdy. I've experienced napkins that tear really easily when you're doing decoupage. These hold up really well. Here I am going ahead and cutting off the excess napkin on the side. And I'm just going to lay that one to the side to dry while I work on the next one. And I'm just going to repeat the same process with adding the collage page on the envelope and then applying the napkin. And here I am doing the third and final envelope. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the napkin out, the piece that I want to use, and use the same process to apply the napkin to the envelope. And when I started this, I really didn't have any specific plan on how to do this. So I kind of fly by the seat of my pants on this one. I'm gonna have to recover from quite a few errors <laughs> uh, along the way, but I am applying the collage page to the front of the napkin as well. The same technique you would normally use to decoupage. So you put the layer on the surface of whatever you're using, in this case, the envelope, you apply the napkin, and then you go over the napkin with the decoupage or the glue mixture or the Mod Podge, whatever you're using. If you've ever used Collage Podge, let me know what you think of it in the description box below. I'm going to give my thoughts a little later in the video, but I'm curious to know if this is something that uh, is used often and how you feel the results are when you use it. So this is part of what I was mentioning. I didn't even think of the flap of the envelope, how that would look so now i'm going back and decoupaging on the flaps of the envelopes i should have done that originally and i did not here i'm just looking at it making sure that it's gonna be okay and then i decide to try and tear the napkin Usually that would work, but these napkins are so sturdy. And maybe it's because there's not a lot of water in the collage posh. Um, it was quite difficult to tear. It didn't tear as easily and cleanly as I've experienced napkins tearing before. Yeah, I kind of gave up on that. 
and I know I probably should be waiting until this dries completely but I continue <laughs> to try and trim off the excess it just it just wasn't working out so here I'm going back to adding the collage posh to the envelope flaps and continuing with the napkin over the flap Okay, so now the envelopes are dry and I've already started the trimming process. Uh, I didn't record all of it, but I am trying to use that metal ruler there to trim off the excess. That's worked for me before, but for some reason with the collage posh and or this napkin, it is not working. Uh, not as well as one would hope. <laughs> I mean, it works, but it doesn't give a clean tear like you normally would get with a napkin and a metal ruler. So I found that the scissors gave me better results. Um, and even with tearing it with the ruler, I ended up having to clean it up with the scissors. So um, it took me a while to figure that out because I kept trying to use the ruler, um, but it just wasn't working. See here, it won't even start the tear. It's like I'm struggling to tear it with the metal ruler and that doesn't normally happen. Not with a regular napkin. I resorted back to the scissors again. Just folding over the flap to make sure that it folds well. Back with the ruler again. I just couldn't catch a clue. <laughs> I just had to use the ruler. I, one reason why I wanted to use the ruler is because I didn't want to accidentally cut the envelope. So here I'm trying flipping the ruler over so that the metal will be closer to the napkin and without the cork lifting the metal ruler off of the paper, it didn't make much of a difference. It still did not tear cleanly. And I had to clean it up with the scissors. Again, cleaning up the edges with the scissors because it was just too small of a piece to tear with the ruler. So now I am going to apply some of the napkin to the back. Again, I did not think this through thoroughly because I have the back of the envelope to cover and I also have the inside flap which has the self-adhesive uh, strip on it. So I'm gonna have to figure out something for that as well and doing this back area is going to be a little fiddly and I don't want the envelope to seal itself so I put some clear bags clear packaging that I had from some happy mail inside of the envelope to keep it from sealing itself shut and I'm just repeating that same process on the back of the envelope Here I'm starting on the next envelope, again with the clear bag inside the envelope to keep it from sealing itself shut with the collage posh. Napkin to it, this is the actual napkin, how it came from the store. I'm gonna use the tape method to pull that backing off. Usually you would put the tape in the center. I don't have any clear tape handy so I'm using washi tape which is a little less tacky but because these napkins are so tough it wasn't difficult to pull the backing off 
Sometimes you'll be pulling off the backing and actually tear the napkin, not these napkins. So there was only one backing piece or one extra layer. So here I'm trying to determine which pumpkin design I want to use. The napkins have two different designs and I really like these napkins. They have a couple of my favorite things, the pumpkins and the buffalo plaid, the black and white buffalo plaid. Love both of those. So you may see these napkins year after year until I use them all. Uh, I think this is only like the third one that I've used. So, and again, repeating the process. And I'm gonna speed through a lot of this because it's very repetitive. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I've done, just drop down into the comments and let me know and I will answer what I can. And I just realized that everything that I'm using here, except for the collage posh and of course my craft mat and rulers and stuff, but the main items that I'm using are all from the Dollar Tree. The spatula is from the Dollar Tree, the napkins are from the Dollar Tree, as well as the envelopes. So everything is Dollar Tree. So this is a very a low cost craft project for my fall journals. So everything has dried um, and I'm just looking at the overhang for the opening of the envelope, how I'm going to trim that up as well as the sides and the bottom. I have seen sandpaper used before once the decoupage has dried to remove any excess napkin that doesn't quite go as planned. I don't know if my sandpaper was not rough enough, what the case was. Um, it's also Dollar Tree sandpaper. Um, and I do have other um, textures or roughness, I guess. I don't know what you call it when, when it comes to sandpaper. But I just decided to go ahead and use the scissors and just be careful not to cut open the envelopes. Um, Ideally, I would have used an emery board, but I could not find my emery board. So that was why I tried the sandpaper, which is basically the same thing as an emery board, right? So I don't know why it didn't work. Again, I chalk it up to these napkins are tough. They are tough. Um, and that's the only thing I can think of why it wouldn't work. Here I'm thinking that I should have left more overhang so that I could fold it over inside of the envelope to make that opening a little more sturdy, but I didn't do it on this one. And I tried to sand off any extra little pieces that didn't get cut off or torn off previously, and it just, it just didn't work. And also, I have a little issue with the collage podge on this. Uh, it's supposed to be better than Mod Podge because it doesn't leave that tacky feeling. Also, it seems a little more matte than Mod Podge, which you can also get at the Dollar Tree. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't stick that great, at least not to me. On the edges, I could see where it was coming up the napkin was coming up. I don't know if that was my error for not using enough of the collage posh or what. I felt like I covered the surface of the envelopes where I wanted to put the napkin. I feel like I covered it really well. So I don't know why it wasn't sticking. And here I'm just playing around with the envelope, trying to decide how I'm going to actually use it in the journal. Am I just going to clip it in or am I going to use it as a on page pocket? Um, I guess I should have also thought about that before I started the project, but I just really wanted to use the napkins and I figured I'd figure out how the envelopes would go in the journal later. So again, I'm trimming up the napkin with the scissors and I am going to trim off some of the back piece of napkin where the opening of the envelope is and then I'm just going to leave enough to overhang and fold over into the envelope. 
here I go with the sandpaper again trying to sand it off it's not working and that's when I decide to fold it on over um, the sandpaper just wasn't working when I use the Mod Podge or my own DIY Mod Podge it's a glue solution it seems like whatever surface that I'm working on that it gives it a little more sturdiness it builds it up it makes it stronger the collage posh does doesn't seem to do that the envelopes with the napkin on them seemed more flimsy after applying the napkins than it seemed like they should it seems like they would have been a little more hardy than they were and they were not so i probably wouldn't use collage posh for this again um i'm thinking I'm going to try it with just doing a regular collage and not trying to use it to do decoupage and see what happens maybe it's not meant to do decoupage I don't know I didn't read the bottle I get things like this and I just dive in it was recommended in a video I was watching and I don't remember if they were using it to do decoupage or if they were using it to do collage so maybe I'm just using it for the wrong thing I don't know but I am not at all happy with how it sticks like here I'm having to seal up my envelope where it tore a little bit if I were using Mod Podge that would never have happened I would have really be struggling to make sure nothing stuck together so because the side of the envelope opened a little bit I'm using glue now and I am just going down the very edge of the napkin overhang and I'm gonna fold that over to try and make sure that that envelope stays closed there I just don't think that I should have to pull out my glue <laughs> when I'm using a glue type product I, it just I don't know didn't make sense to me that it wasn't working so this whole project of covering these envelopes I learned a lot and so I know what to do and what not to do the next time hopefully I'll remember but I always will have this video to look back and see to refresh my memory so here I'm just gonna take some of the leftover scraps and use them to cover the inside flap and to go down into the envelope a little bit uh, just to cover that area here I'm adding glue stick over the self adhesive area thinking that I can use the glue stick to adhere the napkin piece on the flap because I didn't really want to deal with the collage page and risking sealing up my envelope I trim off some of the excess I'm just using the bone folder to make sure that it's all adhered down well and just doing a little touch up with the scissors trimming up any excess pieces hanging over the edge tried it again with the sandpaper I just was not gonna give up on that sandpaper I even tried actually sanding on top of the envelope just to see what would happen nothing nothing happened I didn't want to sand too much because I didn't want to actually rub out the design on the napkin so I left well enough alone so here I'm gonna do the same thing add the uh, scrap piece to the flap remove the backing on the self adhesive strip this time I'm gonna use the collage posh to apply the piece of napkin inside the flap of the envelope and here I'm using the clear bag again to keep the envelope open so that envelope won't seal itself shut so I repeat that same process for this last envelope remove the backing add some collage posh and then I will add a piece of napkin to cover the flap
So the last envelope inside flap is done. I'm gonna take a piece of packaging and place it inside the envelope to keep it open. That, that one tore a little bit on the edge. I'm just checking these others. Add a little more of the collage posh just to make sure everything lays down as it should. And adding the packaging to make sure that it doesn't seal itself. Okay, so here are the three dried envelopes. And here I'm just reinforcing the fold of the flaps using the bone folder. And then I'll begin trimming off the excess. So here I'm realizing where some of the pieces were not glued down well and I'm going in with my Barely Arts glue and making sure the edges are sealed like they should be. So here are the three envelopes. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some vintage photo distressing around the edges. I don't know, I, I think the vintage photo frames the envelopes and just gives it a nice vintagey look even though the pumpkins aren't really vintage style. They are a little bit, but not quite. But I just like that framed look so i go in with the vintage photo basically that's it like i mentioned earlier i learned quite a bit along the way doing this because i'd never um did decoupage on a complete envelope i've done it just in small areas but not to cover a whole piece like this next time i would not use collage posh to do this and i would take into account the inside flap prior to covering the rest of the envelope. The envelopes are done and ready to go in my journals. I can decorate them, but I think that the pattern on the napkin says it all. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned as much as I did. Thanks for watching and I'll holla at y'all next time. Bye.